Hey guys, and we are back. I actually just finished recording a pay to win episode and this free to play episode, <laughs> this account is so different than that account. First of all, I still have a cow horse and um, wow, <laughs> it's kind of loud. So yeah, I still have a cow horse instead of my bear on the other account. And let's see, where are we at here? Ooh, we can trade it for a level two horse, which might give us a level two riding horse and then we will no longer be have a cow horse so that'll be good let's go ahead and start a raid gotta refresh our shield okay let's go over here and let's combine our horses a hundred percent chance give me a riding horse please no i mean it's not a cow horse but it's still a wild horse so it's still essentially a cow horse there we go and uh, it's got a worthless skill for us. Combat staff, 2%. But it is a level 2 horse. And that can be used, you know, I need to get 4 of those to get a level 3 animal. Which is, you know, how you have a chance of getting a wolf. So, okay, let's uh, let's go to the PvP zone. Let's see if we can't kill someone. <laughs> Honestly, I've been pretty disappointed in this PvP zone. Uh, the algorithms do not seem as magical as I had hoped that they would be. Um... I have met real players in this zone, so it's it's not a bad zone. All right, reset, please. All right, we're gonna sit here. I accidentally brought this trap, which I did not mean to bring. That was for oh, it was for defending my base, <laughs> and it looks like I might have the opportunity to use it after all. All right, Viking Magician. We're leaving. You're not even worth our time. The Viking Magician with the level one basic sword. All right, let's go. Are you the one from YouTube? <laughs> I can't. I can't escape it, guys. I just. I want to play. I, I need to like maybe create an account where I change my name or something. Uh, maybe. So I guess he's, I, I don't want to attack him though. Not with my free to play account. Maybe I will. Ah, it's just so expensive. I have these five, no, it's just too expensive. Once you get to level 99, it's just too expensive for a free to play player. You have to grind so much to get just enough copper. Actually, the new zone does add a lot more copper. And so maybe I need to change my mindset. I don't know. Like, look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've got 24 copper here from just that last episode we played. If you guys did not see the last episode, this new zone is like free to play heaven. It's amazing. Okay, I don't think this guy's going to attack me. So we're just going to go to the zone. I need to kill four tomb enemies to get my quest for the day. Do you have a wooden amulet? Look, Viking Magician is just sitting there. Look at this, guys. Hi, Viking. Oh, he disappeared. Another Viking. Yeah, Viking Scout. Well, I got a hammer out of the deal. That's kind of nice. Oh, there's the tomb. All right, gonna reset these guys. It's so dumb. Oh, there is a guy here. <gasps> yes. Would you give me one, please? I can give him a pendant after I kill this guy. Where'd he go? Oh. I'm 29. Yes, period. I will give you one. Period. Hold on. Let me kill these four guys real quick. If he thinks I'm talking about players, he's going to be really scared. Which would be really funny. But...
And I'm gonna kill this guy for the ghost flower. All right, guys, we're going in with good gear. Really hope this guy doesn't kill us. Okay, so we gave that guy a wood pendant, which, you know, was a nice thing to do, I guess. Obviously, I don't expect you guys to do that, especially on a free-to-play account. But honestly, sometimes it's just nice to be nice. All right, let's go visit the cursed town just because we can, even though no one's ever there. Just sneaking through the cursed town with a fire dagger in full gear. This is normal. Normal part of life. All right, come at me, bro. Yeah, you're dead. All right. Oh, I don't have a backpack. What the heck? I'm gonna go back to Freyr's land just one more time, just for the hope that I might run into a real player. I'm definitely still in the same zone, um, but I have hope that there's a real player because I saw those mobs move in a way that usually Usually a bot, a bot could do that though, it, it, but it's rare, it's rare. Usually when you see mobs all come back like that, it is most likely a real player. Well, that guy was just going for his uh, shield, I guess. I mean, if we match again, I'll probably raid him. Um, I don't know, I, I would feel bad to raid him, but we're gonna try. I really wanna go to druids, uh, or sorry, giants. See if I can sneak in the loot, find a find a way out, see if we can match in the meantime. Hopefully we'll match with someone that wants to attack us. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to play it like, oh, we're just trying to get our shield. Um, I don't know if people have kind of gotten into rhythm yet now that the, the truce is done. I mean, technically, all the shields ran out 10 hours ago. So, you know... I imagine, like, it's not nearly as good as last night, right? Last night, tons of people were, were doing this to just try to get their shield. And so it would have been really easy to match with someone. I don't know about now, you know? So we'll see. We'll see if we can match with someone. But I don't want to mess up. I kind of want to go to Helheim Rift. Okay, let's go into our base. Let's go into our vault and let's see... Honestly, I haven't been down in my vault in a long time. I don't usually rely on my vault, which is not smart. You need to rely on your vault. You get in trouble if you don't rely on your vault. And But every once in a while, I kind of mess up. Okay, you can see that this is so pitiful. I have not done really any work on my vault. My vault is almost empty. So, I really need to put some stuff down here. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. I want to put some stuff down here. Uh, we're going to go and just grab stuff and, and kind of issue it down here. That way, if we do get matched with someone who's kind of serious, we'll be able to, you know, protect more of our stuff. Okay, so we got a fire dagger in repair. So we'll go ahead and take this extra fire dagger and full set of gear. We'll go ahead and keep our pendants down there. We need a lot of this other stuff. You know what? We'll just start with that. That's something that we know... It's not a big deal to just keep down there because we already have extra sets. We have a full set, and, and then if for some crazy we, reason we die, even on our home, you know, home base advantage, then we still have an, a whole nother set. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Oh, I guess not. There we go. We matched with Johan. Johan is level 99. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I was literally about to cancel because I didn't want it to mess with druids. Um, so we'll see how this goes. All right, so let's see. We're going to go over here and we actually have quite a bit of stuff up here that I'd, I'd love not to lose. Not, not because it's that important, but just because, well, we'll keep that stuff there. All right, this could be... Not hearing anything, which that could be a good sign. No one's talking, that means they might attack. 
usually when they start talking, anytime people are like talking, it's not that they won't attack, just the chances significantly decrease on how many of those guys are going to want to attack you. So the longer we go without hearing anything, the more likely that, uh, in my opinion, the more likely that they're going to want to attack us. And so even though I want them to attack us, I still get nervous, you know, like, which is not good. If I were good, if I were a better player, I would just be a lot less nervous, but it's not where I'm at. Oh no, my battery's low. It should last. It should last 14 minutes. Johan, what are you doing? What you gonna do, bro? Just gonna put one at every doorway. I just... I like having stun traps at doorways. Because if I'm going through a doorway, I'm usually doing it to escape. And so... Just gonna put a bunch of stun traps in these doorways. All right, well, I don't know if Johan's gonna attack or not. I'm afraid, I have a feeling that as soon as I, you know, let down my guard, he's gonna come. But also he may never come, and that would be lame to just sit here this whole time and just wait for him. So we're gonna, we're gonna put the stuff like this so that it's easy to grab quickly. And then we're gonna go, uh, go to Druids. No, 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 not Druids, sorry. We're gonna go to, um, Giants, because sometimes we get lucky. All right, we got our gear score up above 400. We kind of want some boots here. We'll just wear these boots. And then I'm going to grab a couple speed potions. I really don't need more than one, really. All right, we got three minutes until it starts, and then we're gonna wait another like two to three minutes. I'm tempted to visit Johan. I bet you, I don't know, I don't know. Is he just trying to get a shield? This is what I love about not having the truce, is you never know what the other guy is thinking. You know, is he just trying to get a shield like me? Uh, or actually, I'm, I'm wanting someone to attack me. Um, but is he just trying to get a shield, or is he wanting to attack? I doubt he's wanting to attack. He probably would have attacked by now. Um, is he waiting to see what I'm going to do? Like I'm waiting to see what he's going to do. Uh, is he wanting me to attack him so that he can get a sneak attack like I've been wanting to do? There's so many different options and you don't know, you know, you don't know what they're doing. You don't know what their plan is. So I love that. I love that about this. Let's go to the burial ground and let's just see if anyone's farming the burial ground. It's very rare for people to be farming the burial ground, but if there are, then sometimes it's kind of fun to try to ambush them and take the pendants. All right, let's see if anyone's doing the burial grounds. Nope, it hasn't even started. So hope the, hopefully the devs will fix the burial grounds. They'll make that a, a thing. Right now, no one really does it. And then there's the chance that he's actually offline and that I could have been offline, offline raiding this guy the whole time which is great if you have money to spend on hatchets and pick locks, but I'm not really, I'm not really interested in that grind, especially when you do the grind and then turns out they were just waiting for you the whole time. Um, I mean, there, it's easier than that, but it's just, it's just annoying. All right, Druids and Giants treasure is up. I'm gonna visit uh, Druids just while we're killing time. Hopefully, hopefully I won't die. <laughs> that would be really sad if I died. Um, especially because I'm wearing gear I don't want to lose. Uh, this is my gear that I wear to go to Giant's Treasure. And so it would be sad if I lost it. Okay, so we're gonna enter. We're just gonna see what is going on in this zone. All right, no one's here. So just going to see here. We're going to see what happens in the chat. We're going to just see, you know, who's around. And then um, at 2.50ish, um, we're going to go to Giant's Treasure. And hopefully, hopefully we won't run into anyone there. Okay. 
running. Now I haven't done this since the update, okay? So they could have changed the algorithms, but my kind of magic formula was to enter around the two minute mark. So once you enter around the two minute mark, there's a good chance, or it's your best chance. It's still not amazing, but it's your best chance of end up running into nobody. So uh, we're gonna go in, we're gonna hopefully run into nobody or scare away the other solo people that are doing what I'm doing, trying to like, kind of like fluff our peacock feathers um, so here we are. So there's a minute and a half left and I'm going to switch this out because, you know, those other things don't help me anymore. And so I've got a pretty good chance of, of healing, um, speed potioning, doing a, um, the horse, the, the spirit horse, all of those things help me run away from people if I get into trouble. So now I want to, I want to fluff my, ah, oh, dang it, I don't really have any. Anything to stand on. Hmm. How do I scare this guy away? I don't think he can kill me. There he is. Oh, it is a team. Uh, it's their friend, their fans. Hi guys. So if uh, they had, uh, I mean, they didn't have amazing gear. So I think I would have still gotten away using my Oh my gosh, my this thing doesn't get set up every once in a while. All right, I don't want to retreat, and I don't want to say piss off. Why? Why isn't there a thank you? There should be a thank you. <laughs> yes, period. I'm recording right now. All right. Well. Can't you let me take chest, please? Yes, period. You guys need to take the chest, period. You can't give me anything on this account. I think I would have gotten away, comma, otherwise I would give you the stuff on my body as well. On this account, comma, I can't accept any special privileges because it is designed to show people how to play the game. Okay, so actually I'm going to show you guys uh, what I would have done. They had me pinned and when they had me trapped, I would have uh, done my speed potion and my horse and I, I would have just taken the damage and then I would have run away like that. And you can see I didn't get lower than 40 health and so um... So I would have I would have escaped. Uh, they they had gotten my health down about 40, 50 health. Um, and so I feel good about keeping the stuff on me. Okay, guys. Well, the rating wasn't that great. We everyone was just kind of turtling, trying to get their shields. You know, people are still kind of getting the groove of the truce being gone, which is so marvelous. Um, the red zone was a little bit lame as far as how many people we met in fact I don't, we didn't meet any real players in this zone which is weird I, I hope they tweak the algorithms for Frere's land because it's a pvp zone we want to see we want to meet each other in pvp i really hope the devs uh work on 
making less bots and more real players in that zone. Um, and then we didn't end up, you know, landing the Giants treasure, which is uh, typical. Honestly, I, I only get it like one third of the time, even when I use that two minute mark. But it's nice when I get it. And like I showed you there, you can still often get away. Um, no one was at burial ground. That makes sense. No one was at curse town. It's, it's kind of, the devs still need to do some work on making it to where we can, every episode can be exciting. Um, you know, there wasn't a whole lot, even though they fixed the game, there's still just going to be some episodes where aren't as amazing, but I am curious on a PVE side, what do you guys want me to do next? You know, we're max level now. Do I want to start working towards, you know, Assassin 3? We've got, you know, we just need to kill. Wow, I need to kill 20 players. I guess that just unlocked. I haven't played a lot since this update came out, but I've already gotten 5,000 stealth and, and killed a player. So th that's going to come pretty easy. The 12,000 master points is going to be the real, you know, kicker to get to Assassin 3. It's going to take a lot of work. And I, I did already put a lot of work into getting my... I've already put 7,000 points into getting Rogue 3. I much rather Assassin 3. I, I, I really hope the devs, I know a lot of you guys have requested to the devs, can we get refunded on those mastery points and <laughs> issue them somewhere else? Um, that would be amazing. That would be my hope. And if that happens, I'm going to issue them all over to Assassin 3 because that's the class I really wanted all along. I was, I was doing all of these... Um, all of these points really just with the hope that I would get to Assassin 3. And so we'll see if the devs do that or not. Honestly, if you if you include the 7,000 points here and then the 2,000 points for Rogue 2 and Bandit 2, that's actually, I pretty much would be at Assassin 3 right now. So you can see that even though I have no level three classes on this account, if you are a new player under this new system, even just playing what I've played, you would already have a level three class of your choice because the Assassin three is is one of the is still one of the more expensive classes. So it's amazing that they fixed the game, but it's also really annoying that um, those of us who've been playing for a while didn't get that advantage. It's okay. I'm I'm happy for it is if they never change it, if they never refund these points, I'm still happy they changed it. But it is a little sad that. Um, I'm now, <laughs> I'm still so far away from hitting Assassin 3. I am still closer. I don't have to get all the way through Bandit 3. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I go for Assassin 3? Should I just not worry about Rogue 3 for now? Because I never really, that wasn't really the class I was wanting the most anyways. Um, or should I do something else? Should I uh, try to do the archives, start, start building up? In order to do the archives, I don't even know if it's possible, but if I'm going to try to do the archives on this account, I'm going to need like three sets of instigator gear. I'm still not going to be able to kill Skull. That's impossible, but I might be able to kill Jorgen if I had three sets of instigator gear, three sets of um, Nord Sword and Shields, a billion bandages. I don't know. Like I, I need a ton to do it, but I think it might be possible. And so is that what I should be shooting for? What do you guys think I should be shooting for? Or should we just wait until Jotunheim comes out and then that's a ton of new content um, in the next update? So let me know what you guys think. I also would love to max out my base to level two. I'm getting pretty close, uh, which was gonna require some you know, wood and stone farming. And so I might do that as well. So let me know. Level three class, you know, building up the stuff for to try to do kill Jorgen solo or just maxing out my base um you guys let me know oh and also i want to get to district level 111 but that's going to take so much time in trying to get silver so you guys let me know out of those four choices what do you want me to be shooting for and that's where we'll go all right guys i'll see you next time